Good morning everyone, magandang umaga po. Welcome to the Daily Grind. So today we're going to be talking about yan, isa sa isa na naman sa mga viewer requested na topic, uh, how to strategize. Paano ba i-strategize ang tamang investment sir Lloyd? Yan yung tanong ng kaapon. Um, eh, basically, kung nagsisimula ka pa lang, uh, may trabaho ka, nakapag-ipon ka na, and you're planning to start investing, this is the right episode for you. So, po, basically, pwede pa rin sa mga nagsisimula na mag-invest. Minsan kasi, mali yung investment journey tayo natin. Uh, meron na siya nag-advance ka agad. Right? For example, um, real estate investments. Real estate investments, I always teach this na nasa bandang huling investment mo yan dapat ang real estate hindi yun kakasimula mo pa lang bahay kagad ang binibili mo so real estate investment is supposed to be in the last um, also stock market pero karamihan ng mga Pinoy nagsisimula sa real estate nagsisimula sa uh, sa sa stock uh, sa money markets kaagad and that is hindi naman sa mali but it's not efficient for your money and it will um, hindi mas mas smooth yung akyat mo dapat your investment journey should be smooth like this hindi yung angat baba angat baba yung sinasabi nila na ano um uh minsan nasa taas minsan nasa baba that is because um minsan um we don't have the right uh, investment journey path and that is what we're going to be talking about today strategizing the right strategy for you especially si yung, yung mga nagsisimula pa lang mag-invest and before we go to that topic really quick i'm going to go to the Um, comments para, para papasukin natin yung traffic muna for the audiences this is recorded live if you have any questions please post it in the comments and um, yeah any any comments you have any requests in the future na pag-usapan natin lagay niyo po sa comments so that we can talk about it uh, please share this video this is gonna be uh, very educational for those yung mga kaibigan niyo po uh, this will help them a lot in their um, investment journey if nagsisimula pa lang sila di ba so para matulungan naman natin sila Francis Fahilan good morning uh, Grim Ghost good morning Sir Lloyd good morning then Marims good morning po Sir Lloyd nga pala si ano may bad news tayo ngayon uh, uh, it's now officially a pandemic si ano si si COVID-19 so pandemic na siya this might affect stock investments uh, it and make the stocks dip even further pag nagka-pandemic kasi uh, you are gonna see lockdowns in the countries um, baka magka-lockdown rin dito sa atin so whenever, whenever there is lockdown kasi um, yung mga tao hindi nakakalabas hindi magbibili-bili yan right? um, ang binibili lang ng mga tao ngayon are commodities uh, other um, luxury things like mga coffees Uh, mga sapatos, mga damit, hindi pag maliit ang mga sales nila ngayon. mga restaurants will have very uh, very low sales uh, in this kind of environment and because of that um, companies will re- will be uh, affected a lot and when affect uh, when companies are affected, the earnings are affected, uh, the stocks of those companies will be affected. so malaki po ang dagok na ng news na yan sa mga stocks uh, sa mga stock investments natin ngayon if you're into stock market investing um, if you wanna learn more ang kagandahan kasi nito if you haven't watched my episode yesterday this is the opportunity that we I've been waiting for for a long time at um, matagal na kami sa stocks pero we hope na nakapagsimula kami noong nagka-recession noong 2008 the markets dropped and when the markets drop the prices become cheaper right? If nakapagsimula kami noon nung mura na ang prices, we would have been very successful in in our stock market investing already. So I've been hoping for for that kind of opportunity and here it is now, nagre-recession na ngayon. So what you do is you prepare yourselves, right? The opportunity is here. Success is when opportunity and preparation meet. So you have to um the opportunity is here. Ang sa inyo na lang kailangan is preparation, not just your monetary preparation. Dapat mag-ipon na kayo pambili ng stocks. Um, but also um, preparation in uh, in your knowledge and about stock market okay importante po yan so please 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 um, do your uh, do your part study stock market before you start right before your the, uh, the opportunity is almost here pagkatapos ng recession na ito it will be a good start for the market you have to be prepared by then so andyan po sa video description meron pong link for uh, stock market basics na seminar Uh, please check that out so that you 
Anjan po sa video na yan. It's a long video, but it's everything you need to understand and know about the stock market, the opportunities in the stock market. So please do watch that and share that also to your friends, right? Para um uh, malaman nila paano maginvest sa stock market. Grim Ghost, good morning. Marips, good morning. Joseph Tanel, good morning. Michael Sarmento, good morning. Sir Roma Moore, good morning. Edgar Galang, good morning. Then Robert Nisirio, good morning. Sir Lloyd, good morning to everyone. And so. Uh, it's 8.37. Let's wait until 8.40 before we start our topic for today. So, update lang tayo. So, uh, PSEI yesterday uh, went higher. Ito. So, this is PSEI. This is Philippine Stock Market. Um, and then, the index. Ito yung mga um, big companies sa Pilipinas. They are considered uh, one of the companies in the index and the major companies kahapon. Medyo umangat naman, but at the end of the day, ang ganda sa simula nung araw yesterday, but at the end of the day, ended in red. But still, at playing at 6,353, we're still expecting for a drop uh, in the markets. And this is the drop that we're, I am talking about. Yan, yung market, nakikita nyo po, bumabagsak ngayon. And this is good because stocks are becoming cheaper and cheaper. Right? So, it will not go down na hanggang zero, right? It will just make the stocks cheaper. Once it's cheaper, then it will be an opportunity for us to buy when when the situation of the uh, of the pandemic improves, then that should make the help the stocks go up again. So pag nagsimula na yung market, you have to be there, okay? So wag, wag muna ngayon, we're still expecting for this to drop. So let it drop lang muna before kayo ano, before kayo mag-invest. Prince Sky, maganda umaga po, sir. Good morning then. Right, so again, guys, please share this video. Pag share po yung video na ito, um, even if it's not live, this is recorded. The topic for today will be greatly beneficial to your friends, to your relatives. Na magsisimula pa lang maginvest at least magabayan natin sila. Pano ang tamang pag invest Okay, so let me just hide this really quick. Si meron ng ano jan eh, may button na jan. All right, so let's go to the topic. All right, so unang una po kasi. Right. Um, whenever, whenever you you save money, that's the first step. Basically, you have to save money. Paano ko mag-invest kung hindi ka nagsasave, di ba? So first step is saving. Now you have savings. Pag meron ka ng savings, the big question is saan ba ako mag-invest? Problem with every uh, karamihan ng mga Pinoy is we were uh, we were brought up to to go to to start a business sila sabi lagi lahat magnegosyo ka para yumaman ka basically that's not true hindi uh, mo kailangan magnegosyo para yumaman but that's one way to become rich right or magnegosyo ka or bili ka na maginvest ka sa uh, uh, bili ka ng lupa at bahay para ano para may makita ka sa investments mo uh, sa pera mo di ba so ganoon ang ginagawa kaagad ng mga pinoy pumupunta ka kaagad doon but um, the problem is hindi po tama yan, right? It's not right to go heavy into big investments right away. Especially lupa at bahay. Karamihan naman Pinoy, um, una kagad binibili is bahay at lupa nila. That's a very big no as much as possible, right? Bakit po? Alright. Um, the, the thing is, kakasimula mo pa lang and what you're doing is if you're buying a house and if you buy a house which is for personal use, that house is not an asset, right? Hindi po asset yan. It becomes a liability. Every month ka magbabayad yan uh, for, ano, for, for, for payments. Especially pag kakasimula mo pa lang, hindi mo ma-afford yan for, ng cash, most definitely, right? So, uutangin mo yan. Pag uutangin mo yan, let's say sa pag-ibig, every year, uh, ilang taon ka magbabayad yan, right? Magiging utang yan. And if ever ilo-loan mo yan, remember when you loan, there's interest. So, instead of you earning, you are paying pag-ibig of the interest. So, it is a liability pag dumidiretso kayo dyan. So, please do not do that, right? We will, I will be teaching you today, pag nagkakasimula mo pa lang, saan mo dapat linalagay muna. Okay, so, um, if you, I have a question for you. Anyways, konti lang naman tayo ngayon. I have a question for you. If you are able to save, let's say, 1 million lang. If may 1 million ka ngayon, right? This is a little activity for you guys I want to ask you. Uh, please post it in the comments. Even if you're in the replay, if you, even if you're watching the replay, right? I will be spending 1 minute to wait for your answer. If you have 1 million right now, 
saan mo ilalagay yung 1 million mo. So I'm gonna wait for your answer. I'm just gonna close the door kasi medyo maingay yung, ar- yung mga aso ko. So please post the answer on the comments. Wala pong wrong answers dito. I'm just I'm, I just wanna this is my social experiment whenever I talk to uh to Filipinos on my seminars about investments. If you have 1 million saan mo ilalagay? I'll be right back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you, thank you. So, um, Bahet Lupa, this is from uh, Sky, Prince Sky, Daran Boa House for Rent. Robert, Neserio, nawala yung sound. So, kung marunong po mag business, this is from Prince Sky, kung marunong po mag business, then business po, sir. Um, sa MP2, 500k, and siguro yung iba sa stock market, 500k. MP2 and co op from John Junction. Uh, right. Usually sa negosyo Pero dapat yung negosyo is Yung hilig mo Right Right I think okay na ang sounds Right Yan uh, Pasetya na uh, Sinisipon pa rin ako uh, Meron kasing errands uh, The past few days Na kailangan ko mainitan Wala mga magagawa Right um, Do sa 10 and 20 cash on hand 40 stocks Real estate 20% insurance VUL Right so I want to share you this story. Very good. Thank you so much for your answers, everyone. Right? Again, wala pong, ano, wala pong, wala pong uh, maling answer dito. But I want, I really want to extract this answer for you guys kasi mas maganda ang realization pag ganun. 300k learn new skills, 500k MP2, 200k stocks. Uh, audio problem? I, I think okay na ang audio. Let me just double check. Hello, mga go. Ayan, okay na. Ayan. So, food business from Joel. Right? So, I want to tell you a story. And this is a, uh, uh, this is a real story. Okay? Um, I had this friend na yung tatay niya is a captain of a ship, right? Seaman po siya. Um, um, yung, cap, yung tatay niya had a business goal, right? He wanted to invest his money, which is good, which is, which is very good. Kasi kung hindi mo invest ang pera mo, sayang yung pinagtatrabahuan mo, di ba? So you have to invest your money, especially if may hita ka na. So his goal was to, nasa buhol, taga-buhol kasi sila, and malakas sa buhol is tourism, right? Mal- malakas doon ang island hopping. So what his business goal was to create a fleet of, um, yung parang boats for island hopping, if nakasakay na kayo noon, yung malaking bangka. So that was his goal, and his goal was to have ten of those, and he would have been, uh, if he would have been um, stable already. So that was his goal. Okay. So, um, so he was around his sixth ship already. Yer pang anim niya na barko, and he was heavily invested in that. Sabi niya, anak mga 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 anak, right? Okay na yung bahay natin, maganda niyo, uh, maganda yung schools niyo, kaya naman natin yan. But we will not hindi tayo magiging magastos on other things because we have to finish our goal of the business is set up muna natin and I I need sa isang isang uwian niya kasi isang barko ang nabibili niya right so sa isang uwian niya right so we need I need um, four more years so yan four more years ang kulang niya para makumpleto yung set, set uh, yung ano then we should be okay already kahit hindi na ako magtrabaho yung yung uh, yung mga barko natin kikita para sa atin so that was the plan Okay, around his sixth um sixth ship on his sixty year, right? Um, umakyat siya ulit sa barko at nagtrabaho. The problem was na stroke siya, right? Na stroke yung kapitan. So na stroke siya, uwi siya dito sa Pilipinas, uwi siya dito sa Pilipinas. <coughs> Excuse me. 
problema kasi sa international companies pag wala ka sa country nila hindi ka ma uh, hindi ka ma ano hindi ka ma um, hindi masasagot ang medical bills mo but minauwi siya dito and it was an emergency so um kinailangan niya ng pera the problem was he was heavily invested so hindi siya na, wala siyang cash yung emergency funds niya kulang pa for the operations and he needed 2 million pesos so where will he get the 2 million pesos ayun yung, yung savings niya depleted ayun yung ibenta yung bahay nila so what happened was he had to sell his boats and remember if you sell these boats second hand na yan mas maliit na ang presyo plus hindi mo mabebenta kaagad yan at the right price right if you need the money in emergency kailangan mo ibenta yan ng mas mura talaga para ma maging maliquid maliquidate mo at maging cash kagad para magamit mo for your treatment okay so he had no choice he had to sell his boats right so he survived but sadly he was no longer fit to work kasi stroke survivor siya mahina na so hindi na siya tatanggapin ng kumpanya okay um he survived that's the that's the that's the good thing but the problem was after surviving his income is not there anymore Remember, hindi na siya makapagtabaho, right? And then, yung mga barko niya, uh, yung mga boats niya, nabenta niya. Okay? So, he is alive, but no more money is getting into, is going into the family's pocket. So, yung status, ito yung kawawa yung sa kaibigan ko. Eh. The status of the family, which was at a very good status, yung mayaman, maganda ang mga sapatos, maganda ang mga damit, ganito, ganyan. From that status, in one incident na hindi napagplanuhan ng maayos, drop to ve- a very poor state to a point that my friend had to sell, uh, had to sell uh, mga gulay uh, sa palengke. From that status na ang ganda ng buhay, uh, relax rest ng buhay, down to a, to a state na kailangan nila magpumunta sa ano sa sa markets para magbenta, right? So ganun kabiglaan. And the problem was, hindi na pag-andan maayos. He went too aggressive in the investments. One moment. Pasensya na, right? Nah, still not feeling that's still not feeling well so um if you survive and then wala kang income the problem was the years of na pinagtrabahuan mo went to waste right masasayang lang ang pinaghirapan mo if ever hindi mo pinaghandaan ng maayos ang mga what ifs sa buhay okay that is why the very first the very first investment i want you to 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 your money to put into hindi naman lahat but get a variable unit link please if meron kayo isang million at least 10 to 20% niyan uh, ilagay niyo po sa BUL right BUL insurance po siya um, but it's a insurance plus investment at the same time this is what i like kumpara sa insurance noon na ang pangit pakinggan kasi pag nagka uh, pag namatay ka lang saka mo lang makukuha i mean hindi mo makukuha saka makukuha lang ng pamilya mo but here the variable you link unit link for uh for the future right now on the present and the future the future is very good because it's now not the death benefits ang importante importante po dito is the living benefits kukuha ka ng VUL kasi mabubuhay ka right uh, it covers for critical illness, stroke, heart attack, um, kidney failures, cancer. Very common pag nang cancer ka, saan ka kukuha ng isang milyon pang treatment mo. Mabibenta yung lupa at bahay ninyo kung wala kayong uh, VUL or kung wala kayong insurance. Kung kukuha ka ng bahay ka agad, yung isang milyon mo, lalagay mo sa bahay. What if, what if, well, what if magka-cancer ka? Okay? Saan ka kukuha ng pang-treatment? Mabibenta mo lang ang bahay mo and after that, wala kang investments. Right? Here, in a variable unit link, you are protected. Right? This is mainly for income and asset protection. This is not, you're not, we are not protecting the lives. Right? Uh, sa insurance, uh, sa VULs kasi, you're not protecting the person. Kasi accidents can happen, uh, diseases can happen. 
you're not protecting the person but you're protecting the, protecting the income and the assets of the person that is why you will you need to get insurance okay kasi yung savings mo na yan ubos yan pag nag nagka-cancer ka right sana naman hindi right but the problem is if nagka-cancer ka ubos yung savings mo isang million yan kasi sabihin mo lang protektahan ko tong 1 million ko sir Lloyd lagay ko lang sa banko para safe hindi po safe yan right pag nagka-cancer ka which is very common sa mga babae breast cancer um maubos yung savings mo niyan. But if you put at least 10 to 20% of that money, yung 1 million, lagay mo sa variable unit link, the 800,000 na i-invest mo this time, right, tuturuan ko kayo sa nilalagay 800,000 ninyo, right, the, or the 80% of your investments, um, it will protect the 80%. Okay? But at the same time, habang pinaprotektahan niyo yung 80%, that, that, ano, that, that variable unit link that you got, yung 20% na yan, is a retirement plan. Investment pa rin yan, pero for your long-term investments, for your retirement. If may mangyari sa iyo, right, if something happens to you, at least your assets are protected. Okay? Yung, eight, yung 800,000, let's say, lagay ko lahat sa MP2 program. Right? I'm gonna teach you what MP2 program is later on. Lagay ko lahat sa, eight, sa MP2 program ko, and then after 10 years, dumutubo siya ng tumutubo, you already have money, right? Yung 80% yan, tumutubo, right? If something happens to you, pag nagka-cancer ka, yung 20% lang na linagay mo sa insurance is gonna protect the 80%, right? If magka-cancer ka, the insurance company is gonna give you how much? Depende sa ano mo. Depende sa kukunin mo na program. Let's say, 1 million ang kukunin mo program. The insurance company is gonna give you 1 million to cover for your expenses, Right, to cover for your medical expenses and may sobra pa yan kung meron man right? but at least meron kayo sa million pambayad sa hospital yung 80% mo is still safe so that pag nabuhay ka sa ordeal mo, nabuhay ka sa stroke mo at hindi ka na fit to work you still have the 80% to work for you nangyari doon sa ano, ang nangyari doon sa so kaibigan namin, yung tatay niya if he only, for example, yung anim na ang pump boat niya, if only yung isang pump boat niya, linagay niya sa insurance instead, right? He, if he did not go aggressive in the investments, at least man lang kung nabenta niya yung, I uh, mean uh, at least man lang yung insurance ang nagprotect ng limang pump boats niya okay, what, would, what should have happened was if he, uh, nung nagka-stroke siya, kung meron siya insurance, uh, meron siyang pera from the insurance company, yun yung pambayad niya for the treatments, after the ordeal Right after the ordeal, he survived. Hindi na siya fit to work, so he cannot. Hindi na siya pwede pumunta sa uh, sa barko at maging kapitan. Since he's no longer fit to work, at least malang sana meron pa siyang limang pump boats that will help him earn still and continuous. Hindi saya, hindi sana na sayang ang pera niya. Right? If did nothing happen to him, hindi pa rin sayang ang pera because it is placed in a VUL which is also an investment at the same time but a low risk investment. So mabagal, maliit lang ang tubo niya but it's protecting the entirety of your investment. So I hope you understand my point. So please do not go all in on investments. You have to get a variable unit link. And Filipinos, most of the Filipinos do not have not appreciated this yet. Okay? The reason why pwede na akong I, I feel very secured na kahit anong mangyari sa akin, kahit mag, magda-drive ako, if something happens to me, right, I have my insurance para uh, mag-protect sa investments ko if mabubuhay man ako at hindi na ako, makapag, uh, hindi na ako makapagturo, etc. Right, at least my investments are protected and pwede pa akong kumita na kahit wala akong ginagawa right, because of my VULs. If something happens to me, right, at least man, may mapunta sa pamilya ko na pera, right? But I don't usually talk about that. What I really want is it will protect your income. So, sorry, excuse me. <coughs> ah! Masensya na, sinisipon pa rin ako but tuloy pa rin ang live natin kahit I'm not feeling well. Uh. Alright, I'm late coach. Sorry, good morning from Wins Pineda. So, that was, that's my first yun yung una kong guide sa inyo. This is the right strategy plan again for the topic for today and naming investment strategy. So, first up, very important, 10 to 20% of your investments should go for your VUL. Pwede kang mag-monthly ng VUL. For example, nakakaipon ka ng 
um, 10,000 pesos, pwede 3,000 dyan, ilagay mo sa VUL. Anyways, don't worry about VUL. It's still an investment. If nothing happens to you, I mentioned to you before, retirement plan yan. Parang GSIS yan. Laki ng pera nyo pag nag-retire kayo. Right? Romo more sorry, as lang, VUL ba? Di nyo IMG? May nag-offer kasi sa akin. Yes, meron silang mga VUL products din ang IMG. Please check it out, right? If you wanna ask me ano pinakamagandang VUL, I'm affiliated with one. Um, I went into ProLife UK. Nag-ad financial advisor po ako sa ProLife UK because um, I believe they have the best um, program for you guys, right? So, I will recommend that. Hindi ako nagpa-plug ng ProLife, but it's just that... Um, I went there because I believe in their product. Mas maganda yung product compared to, to the others. But you can check out with others if you want to. Right? If you want to know more about VULs, you can send me a message on Financial Freedom 101 para pwede po natin mapag-discussan yan. So that you can, ano, you can, um, you can check it out. Lore me, franchise and stocks mo, ilalagay yung 1 million mo. Alright, um, Sorry, mga as lang yung VUL ba? And meron si IMG VUL. Right, Rafael Abay, good morning. Ano, masasab- uh, ano ba sample ng VUL dito sa Pinaster Lloyd? Sample ng VUL dito sa Pilipinas is ProLife UK. Right, uh, it's a UK company. Hindi sila gaano katagalan dito sa Pilipinas but in world, um, on the, yung worldwide company niya is, has been there since 1800s. Um, nung Titanic, dun sumikat si ProLife kasi ang daming namatay si Titanic and marami pong covered um, all of the families were uh, na ano na covered were given their ano their benefits right so ProLife UK check out ProLife Pro UK meron pa po I have Sun Life meron ako insurance sa Sun Life meron ako insurance sa BDO Life even BDO has a life insurance also learn is lang VUL um, but um, meron din akong film pero pinakamaganda kaya kay, kay ProLife ang pabasa ko is because ProLife has the best uh, has the best program for you guys um So, ano pa po ang uh, pagkakaiba ng VUL sa UITF? Right, very good question. I'm gonna go through this really quick so that para maintindihan nyo. It's a very short naman explanation naman. Um, VUL is funds na linagay pa rin sa mga UI, parang UITF din, fund rin. Um, pwede kasi sa stocks yan ilagay, di ba? But ang kagandaan sa VUL is meron siyang protection na side. Right? It has the protection side. If in case may mangyari sa inyo, you are protected. At the same time, ini-invest yan sa mga UITF, etc. Depende na sa company ninyo, sa nila nilalagay at pati na pinapatubo yung pera. Right? So, because meron siyang protection na side, um, yung earnings niya from the UITF investments is much lesser because may insurance fees. But nonetheless, still very good. Because our main purpose here is the protection, secondary na yung Uh, secondary na yung investments niya. Wag na wag nyo iisipin niya, ay, mas maliit ang investments na tubo sa VUL. Because our main purpose in getting into getting a VUL is the protection side. Right? So, UITF naman is into investing talaga. Mas malaki ang kita niya. The problem with that is, for example, 100,000 ang linagay mo sa UITF, tumubo siya ng 10%. That's good. If may mangyari sa'yo at kakalanganin mo ang pera, Right? If mga cancer ka at kailangan, kakailanganin mo ng pera, you have to sell your UITF and then ikakash out mo siya. Kung magkano lang ang pera mo dyan, if under 100,000 lang plus yung tubo na 10%, which is 110K na, yun lang makukuha mo. And the question is, pag nagka-cancer ka, is 110,000 enough for you? I always say no. Asensya na yun, really not feeling that. Anyways, yeah. yeah. That's the difference within VUL and UITF. Then, if you already have VUL, you, then you can go to UITFs after at least man lang. Yung, let's say, 800% lagay mo sa UITF, then 20% sa VUL. At least man lang yung 80% na, na pe, sa pera mo protected ng VUL. E connect con, my fortune and VULs and we are the 6 year payments na although mababa pa ang fund values, I am optimistic after 15 to 20 years, the fund values will be greater. Don't worry about that because Even if the market is going down, right? Maliit pa ang fund value niya. They are protected, but at the same time, you're buying, right? Habang nagbabayad ka, you are buying the low market so that when the market bounces, malak mataas po ang kita niya. So don't worry about that. Roma more, so pwedeng kumuha ng multiple accounts like IMG Pro Life. Ilang years bang ba payments plan po ba? Very good. Since we're already talking about VULs, um, na. 
um, since we're already talking about VULs, magkano ba, um, ilang years po ba ang payment plan po ba? It basically depends on you. How much is your, usually I talk about how much of your, in, how much is your income and how much do you want to protect for that. Let's say for example, your asset is worth 10 million. As much as possible, you need to be covered for 10 million also. Okay? Uh, yung kotse mo nga na worth na isang million, pinap, pinapa, pinapa-insure mo nga ng worth na isang million eh, ba? Ikaw pa ka na tao at ikaw nag, nagbubuhay sa pamilya mo, <laughs> magkano ba yung net worth mo? That should be the amount you invest. You should be, uh, you should be protected also. Okay? Now, um, ilang years po ba? It depends to you. Right? Kung gusto mo ma-insured na isang million, you have the option na ma- mahaba-haba mo siyang bayaran. Meron pong VUL na uh, until 65 pwede mong bayaran until when ka gusto mong protected ng ganyan. So that's the long term invest uh, long term na uh, long term na payment scheme ng VUL, right? Long term siya since mas mahaba mo siyang panahon babayaran, mas maliit para yang ano, para yang bumili ka ng bahay, you buy a house worth 2 million sa pag-ibig mo uh, li- sa pag-ibig mo uh, sa pag-ibig ka nag-loan. Let's say kung gusto mo nang pabayaran mo ito ng 20 years or 30 years, mas mababa yung monthly mo. ba? Mas affordable mo pang ganyan. Yung mahal na yung mahal na protection. Kung gusto mo mas mahaba mo bayaran, mas maliit yung monthly mo. Pwede naman yung isang million gusto mong kunin in just 5 years or 7 years or 10 years. Pwede naman yan. Pero remember, mas mahal po siya kung mas shorter mo siya mababayaran. Mababay- so it depends on how much you wanna be invested in. If you wanna be, I mean, protected for. If you wanna be protected for ten million, pero ayaw mong bayaran yung protection in short terms, pwede mo siya in long term. Ganun. So it really depends on you. And yes, pwede po maraming uh, kumuha ng multiple accounts from different companies. Saan po maganda mag-avail ng full? Send me a message. I will share to you the best VUL experience that I have when it comes to products which is Life UK. Send me a message in Financial Freedom 101 and I'll, I'll, I will talk to you about it. We can set an appointment. I always do that whenever people need financial advices, investment advices, and business advices for me. I want you to send me a message and we will schedule a, uh, what they call us, a meeting for you. Can we have a video call? Okay? Um, and let's continue. So, that should be number one. So, I shared to you that story because I want you to realize the importance of VUL. Huwag niyo pong sasayangin yung ora, ay yung ilang years nyo nagpa, nagpa, na, pagpa, pagtatrabaho. If something happens to you, lagapak ang pamilya mo at you're no longer fit to work and you will be, you, you end up wasting your time. right? So, please get a VUL. A little portion of your income should go for VUL. Darwin Espera, good morning sir. Right? Shout out po kay Miko. Dela Costa, good morning po sa inyo guys. Guys, if you are finding this episode helpful and informative, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then i-share niyo po itong video na ito. Share it in your, this in your Facebook walls para po mga kaibigan niyo who might find uh, you who you think might find this um, information, uh, this video informative and need this para ma-share po natin sa kanila. All right, shout out to Mark Miko Dela Costa. Good morning Nico Dela Costa. Alright, so next, dapat. So, yan, meron na kayong variable unit link. My, 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 my point here in this episode is you have to diversify. Let's say you have 100,000, you have to diversify that property. Wag lang po sa isang investment yung linalagay. Maliit na, maliit na, maliit na uh, portion yan, ilagay nyo po sa VULs, in, uh, insurance plus investments. That's a very good product for you. You should take, uh, you should take advantage of that. Okay. Right, next is pag-ibig MP2 program. Sa so, dapat meron ka nito. Um it ang earnings niya last year is almost 8%. So basically it's playing for the past few years it's playing between 7% to 8% annual growth of your money, right? 7 to 8% annual growth of your money. Now, if we, I want to ask you again. I'll, I'll give you 30 seconds to answer this. I want to ask you, kung gusto mag-invest ka, how much do you think na percentage return ang okay sa iyo? Okay? Kasi yung 7 to 8% medyo maliit pa king eh. Magkano ba ang gusto mong returns annually sa pera mo? Right? Let's say 20%. Yung mga scam diyan nagbibigay ng 30% a month, ba? <laughs> 30% a month. But how much do you think is a good return for your investment, ba? So that's a very good question. Uh, please answer it on the comments. Wala pong, uh, uh, 
wala pong wrong answers dito ulit. So, please do um, answer it. Okay? So, we'll spend uh, I'll spend time to ano, uh, to uh, what do you call this? For your answers. So, I'll read questions. Uh, Erd Siervo, good morning. Uh, yes, a messenger po ba? Yes, on, to my Facebook page. You can send me a message. Darwin Espera, sir. Confused lang po about HMO. HMO is different. HMO is for hospitalizations na at least may pera ka kapag na-hospital ka. Right? But how much is your H HMO? Magkano ba yung coverage sa HMO? Dito sa Pilipinas, average nung nagko-call center pa lang ko, 150K, 200, 300, 400K. Pag nagka-cancer ka, magkano ba kailangan mo? So, kukulangan pa lang po yan. Right? Kukulangan po yung HMO ninyo. And the problem with HMO is, what if magne-negosyo ka na at wala ka ng trabaho, wala ka ng protection, wala ka ng HMO, and that's gonna be very painful. Okay? Palagay, sir, link ko sa comment. Link sa comments. Um... Anong link po ang yan, Melinda? In my Facebook page, um, in Facebook, just search for Financial Freedom 101. Search for that and then lalabas po yung ano, oh, page ko po. Um, 2% per month or 24% a year, right? So, that is what is fair for uh, for Mr. Darwin Espera. Ang Brosio Frontorum, 20%, nakapag-umpisa na po ako sa MP2, kaya lang hirap ako mag-deposit ng contribution kasi busy sa work, may online deposit na po ba sila? Yes, meron po silang bayad centers. Punta lang kayo sa mga bayad centers, <clears throat> SM, etc. Meron po yan. I'm not sure about online deposits yet, but bayad centers are the best ones. Ang ginagawa ko po kay MP2 program ko is, uh, in bulk ko po linalagay, hindi po ako monthly naglalagay. Uh, please inquire with pag-ibig uh, for ano for uh, for ano for uh, other payment options MP2 po ah for for MP2 program pag-ibig MP2 program sa mga OFWs jan punta kayo sa embassy uh, go to pag-ibig and ask about MP2 program malaki po ang kita nila so um uh, the pr the link is here right so let me get the link for you really quick ilagay ko po sa comments Sana ba ito? Pag-ibig, ayan. ayan. This is uh, information about, uh, I think, overseas po. Ko. So, one, um, lagi, i ano nyo lang po, whenever you can, i-bulk nyo lang po. You don't have to put it monthly sa MP2 program. Right, so, ang question ulit is, how much percentage? Ano, ilang bang percentage ang okay para sa inyo on a monthly, I mean, on a yearly tubo ng pera nyo? May nag-answer na na 20%. Um, gusto ni Darwin is 2% per month or 24% per year. Okay. So this is good, okay? Uh, very good answer. So you can still answer while I'm doing my explanation. So ganito guys, I wanna share to you something. Here in Cebu, kung gusto ko mag-invest sa real estate, gusto mo mag-invest sa real estate at parentahan mo, you can you can buy a one-bedroom uh, condominium here in the Philippines for one point, I mean three million pesos, right? So here's the scenario now. I uh, um, if I buy a three million um. tawag dyan, condominium, uh, ipaparent ko, ipaparenta ko ito, how much is the realistic gains nyo dyan? Right? Uh, statistically, uh, I did this study, yung mga, um, yung mga gusto magparenta, yung 3 million bedroom, uh, yung 3 million na unit na yan, can go, kung gusto mong commit, I mean, may ano ka agad, is around 15,000 a month. Right, so that's passive income already. Fifteen thousand a month is very good passive income already. Okay, de ba? Fifteen thousand a month, and uh, minus the expenses, damages, etc. So, sabi nila ang clean mo is around twelve thousand a month. Twelve thousand a month. Let me open calculator. Right, so twelve thousand a month times twelve is 144,000 a year nakita na passive. Right? So, okay na ba sa'yo yan? Wala kang ginagawa. Meron kang 144,000 pesos nakitaan every year. Yes or no? Okay? Antayin kong sugat nyo. Is that okay with you? Okay, 144,000 na wala kang ginagawa in a year. That's already very good. Minsan pa nga, mas malaki pa yung kinikita na yan. Wala kang ginagawa. Mas malaki pa yung kinikita sa ibang mga uh, mga trabahador natin dito sa Pilipinas na sobrang sobrang hirap ng trabaho tas minimum wage lang. Hindi pa nila kaya maabutin ito sa isang taon. ba? So, sobrang okay ng 144,000 every 
month, I mean every year na wala kang ginagawa. Passive income po yan. I would say yes, this is already very good. Right? If you say yes also, um, then that's good because that's, that's that's basically fair already. But the question is, let's do the math. Um, how much is, how much percent is 144 thousand of 3 million pesos. Let's do the math. Magkano, ilang percent ba yung ano? Ilang percent ba yung uh, 144,000 sa investment mo? Basically, your investment just grew 4.32%. That's 4.32% annual gains. Actually, yung 4.32% na yan is already very good. Now, plus, if you factor in uh, the the <coughs> sorry the appreciation of the ano, of the property which is around 5 uh, 4 4 to 5 percent then annually so basically you have around 8 to 9 percent every year na tubo on your property investment okay 8 to 9 percent for your real estate investment that is already a very 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 good investment i tell you it's a very solid investment problema sa real estate hindi lahat ng buwan merong nagrerenta and then, meron pang hindi magbabayad, so sakit pa sa ulo yan. So, it's much, much, much lesser, right? So, I just wanna, ang message ko po dito sa inyo guys is, if an investment will give you 8, 9, or 10% annually na wala kang ginagawa, is already very good. I would say it's even much better than a real estate investment, okay? So, the returns in your realistically speaking. Swerte nyo lang if yung real estate property nyo may nagtayo ng maganda sa, sa tabi, let's say a mall, and it will help the appreciation. So, swertehan din po yan. But what if wala, and this is the real, realistic, ano, real, this is the real, realistic number of real estate. Okay? 4.32% and then, kung ibibenta mo pa yan, mahirap ibenta yan, matagal pa maliquid yan. Right? That's the problem with real estate. But, well, we'll talk about that at a later part. But I just want to establish that five uh, percent na, na returns annual is already para ka ng may uh, a condominium unit na pinaparentahan. That's already very good. Now here, pag ibig and pito program gives you seven to eight percent in a year. All right? Hindi mo kailangan mag real estate. Hindi mo kailangan bumili ng umutang sa real uh, umutang para magkaroon ng seven to eight percent a month. Go to Pag-ibig MP2 program for as low as 500 pesos, uh, 500 pesos a month. Yun po yung minimum nila. If you have, uh, let's say, uh, if you let's say if let's say you have a hundred thousand there, hindi mo pa kayong bumili ng real estate niyan. If ida oh mer pang okay na to sir Lloyd pang down payment. An paano mo babayaran yung the rest da isang million or dalawang million o tangin mo? Pag umuutang ka, hindi ikaw ang kumikita, si banko po ang kumikita and you're wasting your money, your time there if uutangin mo lang naman pala. Okay? So, get these micro-investments. I call this the micro-investments kasi kahit maliit pa, you already get your 7 to 8% para ka nang nagpa-renta uh, nagpa, ano nagpa, nagpa ng condominium sa MP2 program. Right? What you do is, these micro-investments add up. So, Ang real, sinasabi ko po sa inyo, real estate is, nasa last portion po yan ng investments ninyo. Dapat hindi po, sa kakasimula pa lang may isang million ka real estate kagad. Please, do not do that. Right? What you do is, your micro-investments will add up para hindi sayang yung panahon nyo. Here's the problem with going into real estate. If pipilitin mo sa real estate kaagad ngayon, kakasimula mo pa lang sa, mga, sa, ano mo, sa investments mo, wala kang choice to utangin mo sa real estate. Number one, it's not liquid. If kakailangan mo yung pera, kailangan mo yung benta ng mura. Okay? Pag nagka-problema ang, 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 ang building, magde-depreciate pa ang, 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 ano mo, ang unit mo. And you cannot afford this risk. Inuutang mo pa lang yan, tapos nag-depreciate na, patay ka dyan. Right? It, makukulong ka dyan. Okay? So, that's already very large investments. Number two is, kung uutangin mo yan, right? It's not you who is earning the money but it's the banks who are earning the money from you. Kahit ay parenta mo yan, majority sa mga kinikita na punta lang sa banko. So, it's not efficient for your money na si banko ang kumikita. Right? Si banko ang kumikita ng 7 to 8% mo. 
dapat 7 to 8% ang kita mo sa real estate. Eh, nagbabayad ka pa ng utang sa bangko. So, yung 7 to 8% mo, kukunan pa yan ng bangko, sa so maliit lang mapupunta sa'yo. It's not efficient for your money. That's why do not go to real estate first. What you do instead, na instead na ibayad mo sa bangko, lagay mo muna sa pag-ibig MP2 program is one. It will give gain you 7 to 8% annually. Okay? And then, what you do is your micro-investments will add up Micro investments add up, add up, add up. Marami yan. And then, let's say after 10 years, your micro investments already added up. Since efficient yung pera mo, malaki ang kita, mas, mas solid yung kita. After 10 years, you can buy uh, a good real estate uh, investment. Kasi meron ka ng cash, you can pay for it cash. Since you paid for it cash, yung kita mo is clean to you already. It's much more efficient for your money and it's much lesser risk for you because you're more diversified on the starting kung kakasimula mo pa lang. You have to manage micro-investments first. Okay? Uh, Pag-ibig MP2 program is a good micro-investment for you guys. Check it out. You have to diversify into this also. Hindi ko naman sinasabi lahat ng pera nyo ilalagay nyo kay Pag-ibig MP2. Pwede naman po yan but as much as possible, I want you to diversify into other investments. Meron pong ibang investments dyan na mas Maganda naman yung kita, right? Mas malaki pa sa 7 to 8%. But here, 7 to 8% is very stable. Para ka na nagpa-condo nito, uh, nagparenta ng condo. And then, it's backed up by the government. So, it's very low risk. Govern go government po ang may hawak nito. So, very low risk. Very low risk, good uh, good returns. That's why I always have this as my base pag ibig MP2 program. Please check it out. Right. So, next naman, pag meron ka ng pag-ibig NP2 program, huwag ka muna mag-real estate, huwag ka muna mag-stock market. Go for the... And, andyan po ito. This is for the millennials. Uh, pwede po kayo nito. Go for legitimate crowdfunding websites. For example, farmon.ph. Crowdfunding po ito kasi um, yung mga farmers sa farmon.ph, wala silang pera. Uh, kailangan sila mag-loan para mag-start ng crops nila. And then, kung sa, sa banko sila mag-loan, uh, hirap yan sila kasi takot yan sila na eh, ano, uh, takot yan sila i-collateral ang lupa nila kasi baka magka problema diba? tapos mawawala yung lupa nila so uh, here in farmland.ph instead instead of them going to banks they go to people and mas maraming people mas maliit lang pera hingi nila from you na-spread yung risk so um, hindi ano wala sila mas maliit ang risk nila right hindi kasi naka ano yung, yung, yung lupa nila so number two is Oh, very important with crowdfunding is um, it's because lesser risk kanila okay lang sa kanila magbigay ng mas malaki in return ang mangyayari po dito for example on farmon.ph is pag nag-harvest na magka, mag, mag harvest uh, mag earning shares yan yung crowdfunder ikaw kung mag invest ka sa kanila ikaw you're the funder you, usually they give around 10% Alright, 10% po ang alam ko with farmon.ph yung binibigay nila. So, in one harvest, around 6 to 7 months, uh, they will you, you will be able to get 10% returns from them. Okay? But you have to understand the business first ha. Uh, go to farmon.ph for more information. Meron po si mangingisda.org. Ako po may hawak nito. I'm managing mangingisda.org for our organization in Mindanao. So, on you can go directly to mangingisda.org or in Facebook, you can search for mangingisda.org. If you search for mangingisda.org in Facebook, you can see this, yung logo na yan, um, parang Philippine flag for fishermen. So, check it out. Pag nakita nyo po yan, right, ang kagandahan nito is, again, um, uh, kanina ang farm one is for farmers. Ito naman sa mangingisda. Fish farming naman yung nasa mangingisda.org. And, I am handling this, so I have to make it um, as public as possible May updates po dyan. Yesterday, kaka-update lang po namin. Meron po dito nangyari na harvesting. Nag-harvest po ng isda. Um, if you wanna check out my business, ayun lang ha, mabagal yung internet ko. That's because I'm streaming. But here, so makikita nyo po updates. So, ito yung kaka-harvest lang for February and March. So, ang mangyari po nito is... Ang big, medium, small. So, it's on bangus fish farming. So, ang mangyari po nito is... Um, Fish farming kasi is for fish cages. So, I just want to explain this to you guys. Alright. Uh, Mangingisda.org Mangingisda.org So, that you have an idea what fish farming is. So, ganito po ang nangyayari. Instead of fishermen going to uh, going to the ocean and the seas para mangisda, 
ganito po ang ano ganito po ang mangyayari meron po tayo mga fish cages uh, ito po yung itura ng fish cages yan isang cage po yan nasa 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 dagat um tas yan so ganyan po bangus po yan nasa nasa loob niyan punta ko ni negosyo to good right so ganyan po but this fisherman wala po silang pang capital again so what we did is we did a crowdfunding website so that you guys can buy the fishes in advance and then uh, the organization will will manage the fishes for you at sila na po ang magbebenta and then at, at the end of the uh, of the cycle profit sharing din po right so profits in mangisda.org is are uh, uh, is between 10 to 20% returns for you guys uh, every year annual po yan right so this is something you wanna do also, crowdfunding. But please go for legitimate crowdfunding. Marami pong hindi legitimate dyan. Meron po mga... I will not name them, pero alam nyo po, most, most probably narinig nyo, nyo na po yung siguro yan, yung mga baboy na crowdfunding sabi na bili kayo ng biik, sila magmamanit, sila magbebenta. Meron din dyan uh, mga manok, mga mga manok daw, sila mga ano. But please make sure, if you can visit their farms, you can. Uh, dito sa rainsla.org, uh, we're keeping the farms public and makikita nyo po dyan, may updates dyan lagi sa Facebook page natin for mangisla.org. You can check it out. Kaso nga lang, ang problema dito is limited lang ang mga farms. So, meaning agawan po na investments dito. So, you have to be patient in that way also. Right? And then lastly, ito maganda rin sa si seedin.tech Right? So, seedin, ph, seedin.tech. So, let's open the website. Um, ph, seedin.tech so that you can see it Sorry, pinapindot ako mali. So, let's open seedin.tech. So, dito naman sa kanila, hindi naman farmers, hindi naman mangingisda, but, let me close this really quick. But sa kanila naman, is mga negosyo. Mga negosyante naman. If I'm a business, and then I need funds, uh, instead of going to the banks, which is very big, uh, yung uh, yung yung interest dito naman um, you can invest in businesses also okay so if you have a business kailangan nyo ng funds you have to present it to cdn.ph and then cdn.ph does the underwriting uh, does the do uh, due diligence they will uh, investigate titignan na yung business mo they will do the fe feasibility study and then if they find out that you're a good business and you just need the funds i-list yung business mo yung kailangan mong pera dito sa cdm.ph so that people can invest in you right and then you do the payout also bigyan mo ng pera sila once the tapos na yung ano tapos na yung maturity right so same process but uh, basically here mga negosyo naman ang andito for cdm.tech so you can check it, this out also and again everything is limited so not all the time my projects. Paunahan po dito. Right? Um, Magno-notify sila, sila sa inyo ngayon na, Oy, meron tong business. We already studied this and they're needing this kind of money. And then, magkano po yung investment? Napupuno ka agad. Right? So, unahan din po dito. Right? I think, uh, yeah, I'm not logged in. But if I log in, tinignan ko kahapon na puno ka agad yung investment sila. So, agawan din po dyan. So, you have to be very patient. Sa mangingisda.org, you can send a message for at mangingisda.org so that uh, ma-reserve po kayo if meron tayong updates. We are opening cages sa mangingisda.org um, 2 for this March, pero puno na po dahil sa reservation. So, in April, we're gonna be opening another 2. So, if you if you want to be reserved for April, punta kayo sa Facebook page ng mangingisda.org and send them a message. Send us a message um, para ma-reserve po namin kayo for April. So, agawan po ang slots. Pero limited lang kasi ang slots kaya medyo mahirap po. Again, this the beauty about this is you're updated. Makikita niyo po updates din. So, if you want to know more about mangisda.org, go to the Facebook page mangisda.org. Watch this video yung makikita niyo. Okay? Sorry. All right. So, yak eh no. <laughs> oh, sinisipon po ako eh. <clears throat> Sobrang init kasi. Right, so let's go to the next. Dapat meron din kayo dito. Right, mas mataas ang returns dito um, sa mga crowdfunding. Mas mataas ang returns compared to pag-ibig. But always remember this when you're investing. The higher the, ano, the higher the returns, your risks 
starts to go up, right? For example, sa farm on that pH, the risks are higher because baka magka-drought, magka-El Nino, or baka magka-peste, right? Magka mga mag magkabagyo. So, the, the, the risks now are higher. Sa farm, uh, sa mangisda.org, risks are but basta magkabagyo. But we are trying, we are we are strategically located para kahit magkabagyo, napaka-minimal ng risks natin. Um, right? So, in CDN.tech, malaki rin ang kitaan in just 6 months or even, uh, minsan nga, may 3 months lang, nakaka-10% ka agad. But again, you're investing in businesses. What if mag-fail ang businesses? So, the higher the returns, the higher the risks you are looking at. So, please understand the risks. Also, that's why I want you to diversify Huwag nyo po lahat ilalagay dito kaagad yung pera ninyo kasi pag nagkabulilyaso dyan, ubos ang pera nyo. You have to diversify, meaning marami kang i-investan. Meron kang pag-ibig, meron kang VUL, meron kang farm on, meron kang mangisda.org, meron kang seed in. So, maliit-maliitan. This is micro uh, this is micro investing on your end para po i-diversify nyo po yung risks ninyo and then your returns at least kung isa man dyan bumagsak the other earnings ninyo is okay and intact okay you can do that right i recommend this for you guys so kayo lang po pumili or if you want to get into the three then you can next is if you already have these your micro investments ninyo um if you already have these right mind you guys i'm talking about um, more or less passive income ha? mas magandang passive income investments kasi so basically you have to work still and then while you're working meron kang passive income hindi ko po include si business dito because business is not passive right it's active income and I consider business as a job right trabaho po yung negosyo na yan if may negosyo kayo consider it as a job you have to put time into it so I don't consider it as passive income Okay, so yung mga sinishare ko po sa inyo is the passive income. Sure, businesses, if you start a business, mas malaki po ang kitaan, but you have to monitor it. It's active income. Kung gusto nyo po mas malaki ang kita, then start a business. Kung ayaw nyo po yung 10% lang, ayaw nyo po ang, let's say, maka 15% lang annual na passive, wala kang ginagawa. If you want more, then go for active income, mag-business kayo. Right? But if your your job is good, you're enjoying your job, but at the same time, you need to invest. Passive income is the way to go. These are the passive income, best passive incomes here available in the country that I'm sharing to you guys. Next is the money markets. Right? Money markets. Meron pong stock market dyan. You can invest in the stock market. Now we're looking at the higher risk, high reward investments. Money markets, ang percentage ng earnings niya. Hindi ko po linagay, plus plus lang. Because in a year, you can get 40%, 50%, 60%. Very big earnings already. right Aside from business, kung gusto nyo malaking earnings, go for stock market. Pero again, the higher the rewards, the higher the risk. So you need to understand what stock markets are first. Money markets are at first before you wanna go go start into the money markets. Anjan po sa video description nito. Meron po dyan basics, uh, everything you need to learn how about uh, stock market okay ang kagandahan po sa stock market there is a way to earn passive income through eToro by copy trading you let other traders do the trade for you and mag mag mas malaki sa kasi yung kitaan kaysa sa mag investing ka lang passive investing sa stock market so check out eToro uh, if you wanna create an eToro account don't forget to use this link if you wanna create an eToro account yes, or, sorry <laughs> sorry alright Pag ginamit niyo po yan at nag kayo before March 22, you will get a bonus from me. Kung gagamitin niyo po ang link na yan, $50 bonus po. So, you can copy trade here in Itoro. So, meron po dyan stock market, commodities, gold, oil. Uh, mura ng oil ngayon. So, you can invest in these also. Meron din forex. If sa tingin nyo, ang maganda economy sa Pilipinas, it should go uh, fair, uh, fair good against other economies, then you can go for forex or commodities or stock market. Okay? Mas higher the risk, but mas higher naman ang rewards sa stock market. Please understand more about these because I don't want you to invest in something that you don't fully understand. And dyan po again sa video description, um, more information about stock market. But money markets is very good for you guys. Pero put in money na you can afford to lose here. Okay? For example, bibili ka sana ng iPhone. Uh, iPhone is depreciating. That's uh, that's uh, that's money you can you can afford to lose kasi pag nawala yung iPhone mo, masakit pero okay lang hindi maapektahan ang buhay mo right hindi ka magugutom 
kung nawala man yan kasi binili mo na nga yan eh, diba? So, that's money you can afford to lose. So, instead of buying an iPhone or new cell phone, put it in the money markets pag naka, naka, ano ka, if you put in the right strategy, then it's a very good investment for you. Okay? Money markets is good. But again, it's at the last part. If napansin nyo po, number four na po yan sa discussion natin si money markets. Because I don't want you to go to ra stock market right away. Please go for micro investments first. You have to have solid low risk, low reward investments first before you go to the high risk, uh, high risk investments like like the money markets like stock market wag po dumiretso dito kagad kasi pag nawala yung pera ninyo dito sayang lang ang ilang ilang taon yung pinagtrabahuan na pera at nawala lang sa stock market or sa pagte-trade okay this is complicated so it's not easy to do so wag niyo pong wawalain ng pera niyo dito lagyan niyo po majority ng pera ninyo sa mga yung shinero ko kanina the micro investments that I, I I was talking about mas solid po doon so hindi mawawala ang pera nyo doon. Mas maliit ang kitaan, pero mas maliit naman ang risk. And you don't want to risk your money if kakasimula mo pa lang. Right? If nagsisimula ka pa lang umangat sa buhay or nagsisimula ka pa lang mag-invest, uy, malaki na ang sahod ko for this year dati. Right? Say, for example, dati, gas boy lang ako. Ngayon, naging manager na ako sa gas station. So, nakapag-ipon na ako. So, kakasimula mo pa lang. You need every peso of your money to work for you. Okay? So, huwag nyo po ilalagay sa high-risk investments. Huwag nyo po ilalagay sa kapa. Huwag nyo po ilalagay dyan sa mga high-risk, high-reward na investments na yan. Kasi pag nasara yan, bus ang pera nyo, sayang lang ang panahon nyo, sayang lang ta ilang taong pinagtrabahuan nyo. Okay? Micro-investments, you need your money to be stable. Bahala, konti lang ang gains. 7 to 8% is not maliit, but um, that's already very good. But the the th the key here is low risk investments. You have to understand that. Tapat low risk investments nyo, right? So money markets and before I go to the last part sa investments, which is gonna be real estate, I'm gonna go to the comments. If you have any questions, again, post it in the comments. Uh, uh, non member po ako. Uh, Melinda C, non member po ako ng pag-ibig. Di po yata pwede sa akin. So the number one solution there is magpa member kay sa pag-ibig so that you can get for the MP2. Okay. Um, siguro mahirap pa lang kayo mag member sa uh, ano if ever hindi kayo Filipino uh, uh, hindi kayo Pinoy na ano yung citizenship nyo pero kung Filipino ang citizenship nyo you can always start ano you can always start your pag-ibig nakapag-open ako ng MP2 this year okay naman sa akin uh, mga 5 to 7 percent that's already very good I just showed you earlier napakaganda na po ng 5 to 7 percent ng passive income po D Drew DC, good morning coach Gold, yan, good morning po Melinda, non-member Raymar, sir, yung 7 to 8% ng MP2 Nag-compound po ba sa principal MP2 uh, manually? Yes, that's the good thing about MP2 program That's compounding interest Ang uh, holding period ng MP2 is 5 years right? So 5 years po yan sila So if you, need, if you don't need the money in the next 5 years Lagyan nyo po sa MP2 Let's say for example, may goal ako Dapat after after 10 years, makabili na ako ng sarili kong bahay. So, mag-iipon ka for the next 10 years. Eh, hindi mo pa naman kailangan yung pera. Lagay mo sa MP2. Right? Huwag mo ilalagay sa stock market. Kasi pag natalo ka sa stock market, wala kang bahay in 10 years. Simple as that. It's money you cannot afford to risk. Then, don't put it in the stock market. Aniline, what fund should you link your VUL? Right? Sa akin, depende po kasi yan sa um, sa sa ano ninyo. Sa... Depende yan sa tawag nito sa company nyo. Here sa ProLife meron kaming equity. Pwede nyo po ilagay sa stocks. Pwede nyo po ilagay sa global funds which I strongly recommend. O global managed funds. It's a growth funds. We call that. Maganda po yung tubo noon. Hindi siya sa, nakastock sa stocks. Right? But what I recommend right now since mababa ang stocks sa PSE. Right? You can start with equity since mura ngayon ang stocks. So that when the stocks go up your funds will be going up also. <clears throat> Lexter Kalamasa Good morning Sir Lloyd Hindi po ako nakabukas ng stock ng one year at ngayon lang ulit nakapanood sa inyo Tanong ko lang po ano po ang mangyayari sa ISM Tuloy pa na naman sila They're still gonna be third, the third telco It's just that walang investors ngayon kaya bumababa ang presyo Even the good companies bumabagsak ngayon So yes um, Ed Siervo Jr. Sir may video na po ba kayo ng how to check fundamentals ng mga company Yes po meron ba akong video about how to check fundamentals ng isang company let me try to look that up for you. Go for youtube.com. 
Fundamentals Lloyd Bazaar. Ayan, so search for this one, this video. Uh, I search for fundamentals and Lloyd Bazaar. Ito ba yung mabas? How to check the fundamentals of a company. So guys, it's not just about companies but basically on your investments in the future. Baka may kaibigan kayo na lumapit sa inyo. Guys, mag-invest kayo sa akin. I'm starting this. So these are the things you need to check sa isang company or before investing in some into something. Check out the fundamentals of that investment. For example, tinuro ko po dito, what if yung kapatid ninyo, sabihin sa iyo, Kuya, um, mag-start tayo ng bubuyan sa atin. Ako magmamanage para kumita tayo. So, since kapatid mo naman, nag-invest ka kaagad. Right? Here in that video, I will tell you that one of the things you need to understand, you need to consider before investing, is the management. Sino ba nagmamanage ng negosyo na yan? Right? Yung kapatid mo na hindi naman marunong magdala ng pera, uh, wala namang management experience, wala namang experience sa babuyan, at siya magmamanage niyan, I tell you, wag nyo na po bigyan ng pera para magbabuyan. Because that will fail. Wala pong track record yan. Ang pwede mong gawin is, kapatid, etong gawin mo. Magtrabaho ka ng isang taon sa isang babuyan para matuto ka ganito ganyan para matuto ka mag-manage once marunong ka na mag-manage bigyan kita ng pera pang start ng babuyan natin that person should have uh, the capacity to manage the business knows the ifs out uh, those and don'ts of the business they have to know the management how to manage that business before you put money in it same with other businesses same with other companies before you invest in them check out the fundamentals first isa po sa fundamentals na tinitingnan ninyo is the management so please watch that video that's gonna be very helpful for you guys okay thank you Ed Sherpa for that question and lastly let's now go to the last part of your investment which is real estate investment 8 to 10% percent for returns yan. but <clears throat> I want you to go into real estate investing if you are <clears throat> sorry if you are already liquid and malaki na ang pera ninyo let's say you have 3 million cash already okay meron ka ng 3 million cash in your bank that's about time that you go into real estate pero kung ang laman ng bank account ninyo nasa 100,000 pa lang 500,000 even 1 million I don't recommend you invest in real estate right away sinasabi niya marami dyan uy mar mala akong kinita sa real estate that is because they sell real estate pwede ka magbenta ng real estate pero if you're investing in real estate and 1 million lang hawak mo dyan na pera mahirap po yan Okay, unless napakaswerte nyo sa lupa, kahit na inutang mo, what if nagtayo si SM sa tabi, lilipad yung, pe, uh, lilipad yung ano ng lupa ninyo. Pero if may lupa naman na nasa probinsya, ganito ganyan, farm, gusto mo mag farm, no, right? Don't do that yet. Real estate should be at, <clears throat> should be considered at the last, uh, later part of your investment strategy and your investment journey. Kasi kailangan mo malaking pera dyan. Bakit mo lalagay sa last yan? Because number one disadvantage of real estate is it's not liquid. Right? Lupa. May lupa dyan. Okay? Ang worth ng lupa mo is let's say 2 million. Okay? So, what if magka-emergency? Right? Or what if may opportunity dito? Hala, may magandang binibenda yung kaibigan ko at kailangan kong bilhin ng 2 million. Mas magandang investment ito. Meron akong 2 million pero lupa. Okay? Ano, ano, ano gagawin mo ngayon? Ibebenta mo yung lupa mo. And you know that it will take time for you to sell that money. Hanap ka pa ng buyer. The, the processing is grueling. Malaki pa ang bayad sa mga attorney, <clears throat> ah, mga, mga, mga agents, etc. So, mahal pa bago mo mabenta yan. Kung gusto mo ibenta yan mabilis, bebenta mo ng mura. But the point is, it's not liquid. It will take time for you to sell it. So, by the time na mabibenta mo yan, baka meron ng nakatake ng opportunity sa kabila. So, it's not liquid. Yun yung pinaka-main issue ko kay, uh, kay, ano, kay, kay real estate na investment. And malakihan na pera dito. I will not recommend you buy real estate na uutangin nyo naman pala. Huwag po. Right? Baka sabihin sa agent sa inyo, Sir, last unit na ito. Sayang naman. Right? 
don't fall for that. That's a marketing strategy that they use. They were they're invoking your emotions, right? Yung fear of missing out, sir. Last unit na to, sir. Kung hindi mo mabibili, baka iba na makabili, hindi na available sa That's okay. Hindi po mauubusan ng real estate, I tell you. Kahit na hindi mo ma- true, last unit na yan, hindi mo mabibili, but the time when you're ready, let's say 10 years from now, ka pa ready mag-start ng real estate. Marami pong magbebenta diyan ng lupa nila. Marami pong magbebenta diyan in emergency. Marami po diyan ang ma maano ma marerepossess sa pag-ibig sa mga bangko kasi hindi nila nabayaran. Marami kang mabibili in the future. Kaya huwag kang magmadali sa real estate. Don't worry about ito na yung last sa condominium ito. Marami pa pong condominium 10 years after I tell you. So don't worry about that. Real estate is a good investment but this should be on your number 5 so last mo na consider to. Please invest also in real estate also in the future. This is a very good this is a very good investment. Pero right strategy should be applied in it. Okay? Um so that that is ano, that is our video for today. I hope marami pong natutunan. If you find this uh, informative, please like the video and share niyo po, paki-share po sa Facebook walls niyo. Uh, so that you will uh, your friends will know about this information. Okay? And please subscribe to my YouTube channel na rin po. Malaking tulong po yan. That's it for today. Wala na bang tanong? Alright, so okay naman. Wala na bang tanong. Alright, that's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. And as always, let's get rich together. Bye everyone. Hope you enjoyed.